Hello, Ada. Good evening. Hello. How are you? Fine. Good. Good. And you? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo va con la plataforma? Bien. Ok, good, good. Bien. Ok. Vamos por la, por la sección 5. Ok, ok. Sí, ya, ya, voy ya a... vas a terminar. Uh, um, before Sunday, right? Before Sunday. Sunday. Ah, ok. Ok, excellent. Ok, let's wait a, a few seconds for the other people. Two, two minutes. Yeah, two minutes. Two minutes. How was your day today? Good? Good. Okay. I'm tired. Ah, I'm yes. Tired. <laughs> Did you go to work? Did you go to work today? Um, ¿Dónde trabajo? Uh, no, si fuiste. Did you go to work? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Did you go? Did you work? Come on. Did you go? Did you go to work? Uh huh. That's correct. Yes. Claro. Month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Can you tell me now where Rita's parents live? What do they do? Type your answer. Hello, William. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, teacher. Okay, perfect. How are you doing with the with the platform? Very well, teacher. Are you going to finish for sun before Sunday? Finished. You finish? Yes. Okay, good. Hello, Emerson. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Okay, good. Excellent. Okay, let's go ahead and start. And then we'll wait for the for the other people to go. So um I think everybody is almost finished with the platform, right? So we're going to do a, just a, a present continuous activity, a, just a, a little quiz for us right now. Uh, okay. Give me a second. Mm. Okay, I'm looking for one right now. Okay, very good. Let me share my computer uh, desktop with you so that we can, I can share and show you. Okay, do you see this, uh, this exercise here? Uh, so we have to put the, the verb to be and the ing together. So what will be the answer for this one? She go home now. No, right? How do we make it present continuous? How do we say it? Hmm? She go home now? No. How do we change it to present continuous? 
She is going home now. Yes, she is going home now. Very good. Okay. Uh, number two. I read a great book. I am reading a great book. Yes, very good. Okay, let's let's check. Number two, let's check number one. Good. Okay. Here we have a negative, but it's the same. She, she is not no, wash her clothes. She is not washing her hair. Oh yes, her hair. She is not washing her hair. Very good. Good job, William. Okay, number four. The cat chase mice. But it's a question. So how do we make it into a question? Is the cat chase mice? Is the cat? A, we're going to put ing. Chasing. Chasing. chasing is the cat chasing a mice. Creo que es a mice. So let's check. Is the cat chasing a mice? Ah, no, mice is plural. I'm sorry, mice is plural. So it's okay. Let's see. Let's check. Yes, good job. Mouse, like Mickey Mouse. Only one. Plural, mice. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. What is the meaning of chase? Uh, to run, to run after, to follow something, but like running. Like, mm. for example, the police is chasing the bad guy. Yeah? Como persiguiendo. Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay, number five is a question. So we need verb to be first. Is she crying? Is she crying cry or crying? Cry. Very Sorry. good. Sorry. Good job. Six. He is not studying Latin. Very good. Okay. Number seven. Are, Are we driving to London? Yes, very good, William. Are we driving to London? Yes, good job. Number eight, another question. Are they watching TV? Yes, very good. And they're watching TV? Yes. Why do we use are? Because we have they, plural. So we use the verb to be are. Number nine, where she go now? Where? Where it no, sería, uh -huh. is she where? no, no, porque la WH va primero. <coughs> WH question. Entonces, where she is going now? Yes. Very good. Where is she going now? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. No tenemos que hacerlas todas, but we get the idea, right? Very good. So you can continue practicing these, okay? I'm going to put these in the WhatsApp group if you want to, uh, if you want to practice more, okay? So you can do these activities and then check. Okay, let's watch the video for uh, the lesson that we're going to do, okay? We're going to use uh, what's called in English quantifiers. Repeat, quantifiers. 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 Yes, very quantifiers. good. Quantifiers. 
sometimes in 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 when when speaking about something right we don't have an exact number we don't have a a, a specific number so sometimes podemos usar una palabra que indica poco bastante algunos okay todas esas palabras son quantifiers okay for example uh, i was hearing in the news maybe you saw this uh this virus did you hear about this the, did you hear about this virus in china okay yes yes, yes. Yes. Coronavirus? Did you hear? Yes. So I saw that um, they were saying more than 2,000 people have died from this virus. Okay. So I can say, going back to the yeah. quantifiers, many people, a lot of people, okay, have died from this virus. 2,000 people, a lot of people, okay? So, no tengo un número específico, but I can say many, a lot, okay? So, let's watch the video today and tell me... This you, time we'll talk about quantifiers. Yes. When we don't know the exact percentage of something, we use words like some, most, a few. Stay and learn more quantifiers and how to use them. Quantifiers. All families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. Notice how these quantifiers have an estimated percentage. If you want to make reference to 100%, you may say all, and then you work down the scale depending on the percentage you want to refer to. Follow me in this example. Nearly all women work nowadays. Nearly all, quantifier. Women, plural noun. So in other words, all quantifiers come before plural nouns, except no one. No one gets married before the age of 18. No one, quantifier, gets the verb. As a tip, ask your teacher to remind you about count nouns so you are able to use these quantifiers. Type in two examples using any quantifier you want. Days. Okay, very good. So today we're going to learn uh, a, a grammar exercise it's called quantifiers right so quantifiers are used when I don't have a specific number like uh, for example let's say we have a class uh, let me see here okay let's say for example we have a class and I have a class of students. This is going to be my class. This is my class. Okay? No sé cuántos tengo, pero digamos, this is my class of students, right? And I say, for example, um, I say, this, these students went to class. Los que están adentro del círculo, ellos fueron a la clase. So, which one can I use? What quantifier can I use? Uh, all, nearly all, most, la mayoría, many. ¿Cuál puedo usar para representar los que, los que llegaron a clase? 
Which one can I use? Nearly all. Nearly all. Uh huh. I can say casi todos. Nearly all. What else can I say? Tengo que estar aquí, verdad? Por aquí. Many. Y aquí para abajo, verdad? Uh -huh. Okay. Many. Many means muchos. Okay. Okay. That's good. I can say many students went to class today. Okay. Very good. Now, what happens if I erase this? Excuse me. What happens now if uh, here? What happens if I only these students went to class? Solamente ellos. What happens if only these students went to class? A few. A few. Very good. A few students went to class. Okay. Good. What happens if I have something like this? Like these. Let me see. No, ahí lo voy a bloquear. Okay. What happens if only these students went to class? A few. A few? Uh-huh. También. You can say a few. Okay. What happens if the class was empty? No students. No one. No one. Very good. What happens if what happens if oh. all students went to class? Okay. Yeah. What happens if I have every student only one? student did not go to class only one student did not go to class nearly all nearly nearly, nearly all nearly all students went to class good so es, es como lo uso okay no estoy dando un número específico but i go from 100 here, I go from 100, excuse me, oh. I go from 100, all, nearly all, most, many, a lot, some, not many, no muchos, a few, Few. few Ven como eh, a few a es few. un poquito más que few. Mm -hmm. Zero, no one. Okay. Now, something that the the lesson was saying, the lesson was saying that uh, when you have when you have and you want to say is speaking. You put the quantifier first, el quantifier by el principio, okay? You say, for example, most women work now, en el año 2020. Most women work. So I put most, the quantifier, lo pongo al inicio, okay? Um, there's another way that you can say it if you want to communicate. There are many women working today. Okay. I can say there are many women. Es, en este caso pongo there are y uso are porque me estoy refiriendo a women, plural. The quantifier siempre va antes del noun. Okay? Many. 
It goes before the noun. Okay, do we have any questions? Questions? No? Good? Okay, excellent. All right. So we're going to go ahead and uh, I have an activity that, that we're going to do. Let me uh, share here with you. Okay. Uh, solo quiero borrar eso. Let me erase this. Okay. Okay. Um, I have an activity that we're going to do here. Okay. So I have pictures here, right? And we're going to use the word uh, there are. We're talking about lo que se ve, las costumbres, lo que se ve en la sociedad now. Okay? Remember, if you want, escriban esto, all, nearly all, most, many, a lot, some, not many, a few, etc. Okay? If you want to write it. If not, eh, pueden referirse y tener la pestaña abierta de, del, del video en la plataforma para referirse a, a esas palabras. And those quantifiers. Okay, very good. So I have here, you have to finish the sentence. There are, ¿qué es lo que se ve ahora en día? There are many, nearly all, most, a few, finish the sentence. This is two people getting married, right? Now, finish the sentence. So how can I say? I can say there are many or few. Ahora en día. Mucha gente casándose o poca? Poca. Okay, so how do you say it in English? A few. few. There are a few. Voy a poner parejas, couples, getting married now, ahora, nowadays. You can say now or you can say nowadays. Es lo mismo. Una expresión, nowadays, ahora en día, ahora en día. Okay. There are a few couples getting married. Siempre usamos there are, right? And then we use... The quantifier, después del quantifier noun, okay? Aquí va otra. Ready? No se queden en el aire. Ready? There are. Finish. ¿Qué me puedes decir de lo que está pasando en la sociedad? There are. Tell me, what can you tell me? Estamos describiendo las tendencias que se ven ahorita. There are a few, a few, few. Uh -huh. there are a few children boring. going, boring. Eh. Uh, 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 being born. Mm -hmm. So there are a few mm -hmm. children okay. being born. Being born. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's true. Because my grandmother had 12 children, <laughs> right? My mother had four children. Mm -hmm. Me, I don't have any children. So what's happening to the, the population? Less and less. Few and few and few. ¿Verdad? Esa es la tendencia que se ve ahora, right? Most couples only may, maybe have one children or two children. One child or two, ch or two children. Sí. Right? Yes. Three or four, ya casi no se ve. Right? No. Tendencia. Okay, trend. In English, you say trend. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. 
What can you tell me about this? There are. Uh huh. A few. A few. Grand there are a few. Grand mother and grandfather. Okay. Happy. Good. There are. Eh, usa, eh, dijiste few, ¿verdad, Gladys? Sí. There are a few grandmother and grandfather happy. Happy. Okay. It's true. Because now, what do we see now? Eh, ya la gente no llega a esta edad juntos. Right? They're, they're, uh, people are not getting married and people are getting divorced, right? Tendencia, right Gladys? Right, yes? Yes. Por qué decir que there's fewer people getting uh, happy? There's fewer grandparents and grandmothers happy. Why do you uh, say that? Um, they are alone. Okay, they are alone. Okay. Uh, no sé cómo se dice enfermos. Sick. Sick. Uh, okay. They are a six. Okay. That's true. Yeah. That's true. No, no happy. Yes. Okay. All right. Very good. One, another one. What about these? Women doctors. There are. There are. There are many. Many. There are many. Women doctors. Women are doctors. Yes. There are many women doctors, or puede decir, there are many women that are doctors. Okay. Maybe 50 years ago, very few women were doctors. Now, 2020, now the year 2020, there are many women that are doctors. Okay, very good. Another one. What about this one? Um, there, <clears throat> there are some. Uh, there are no. some. Algunas, okay. There are mm -hmm. some. Women. Women. Some. Huh? Repeat. Thank you. Huh? Women militars. Okay. Militars okay. women. Okay. Pon esa oración junta. Put it together. It's correct, but just put it together. There, there are. There are. Some. Some. Uh, military women. Military women. Correct. Yeah. El Salvador. Very good. Very good. Now, I think that you're seeing more and more, right? Mm -hmm. There are more women military in El Salvador, okay? More. Very good. This, this military is from Colombia, these girls right here, okay? okay? In El Salvador, we have military women. What about this, children with technology? There are only all. There are all. Okay. Our children using children technology. Okay, so we say all, mm -hmm. all children are using are using technology. Technology. Okay. Okay. ¿Qué más? Podemos hacer otra. Mm. There are many children. What? Repeat. There are many. There are many. There are many children. Are many. Children. children using technology. Using technology. Using technology. Yes, very good. Okay, let me see if I have another one. What about this one? Women, mechanics. There. Here in El Salvador. 
not Tienes many. que usar la escala de los quantifiers. Many, yeah. most, all. There are, there are not many no. mechanics. Mechanic. Few. There are a few. There are not many, como dijo Gladys. Not many. Okay. Not many. What else? Me mechanic woman. Finish, finish the sentence. You got it, but you got to finish. Emerson, what can you say? There are not many women are mechanic. Yes, very good. Very good. That's what we're using. We're using the quantifiers, okay? Now, this is something that I'm seeing more. Women driving motorcycles, yeah? There are... Yes. There are... Many women. Ah, many women. Driving. Ah, driving. Motorcycles. 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 Okay, so repeat. I see, like, como, como dijo Katia. Repeat, Katia. Put it together. There, there are many women driving motorcycles. Uh -huh. Yes. Now, ahora veo bastante mujeres. In motorcycles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What about this one? People eating junk food. <laughs> McDonald's. Pizza. A lot? Or a there, few? There are. There are. A lot. Uh huh. Finish, finish. Ponga la junta. Ustedes pueden. Put it. Gladys, eh, I can't hear you because you're on mute. Yeah, there, there, there are all nearly. N uh, nearly all. Nearly ah. all. No, all early, sino que nearly all. Al revés. Nearly all. Mm -hmm. uh, people. Mm -hmm. uh, eating. Eating. Eating, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, food fast. Oh, fast, fast, food. fast food. Fast food, fast food. Yes, very good. Good job. Excellent. Carlos, ¿qué pasó? Okay. There are many people eating uh, food, fast food. Fast food, very good, very good. So if we go back to the quantifiers, we have all, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, a lot of, some, not many, of, a few, few, and no one. So the sentences here, they say, nearly all families have oh. one child. In China, yeah. In China, solo te permiten un hijo. Uh, nearly all families have only one child. Many families are smaller these days. Okay, it's true. Chinese families are very small. A few couples have more than one child. Very few. De, de hecho, y, si quieres tener un hijo en China, tienes que pagar. <laughs> tienes que pagar un impuesto o una multa adicional. No one gets married before the age of 18. Okay. Very good. And then we go back, we can talk about some of the things that are happening in our country, right? Okay. We're going to play a game here. The game is uh, we're going to use a quantifiers. Game online. Let's play. We're going to play a game. Okay, very good. So we're going to have, um, I'm going to write the teams. We're going to have two teams, dos equipos. Okay. Uh, okay, we're going to have two teams. Okay, the blue team and the red team. Team red and
Let me see. Uh, William. Kat Katia. And let me see who else I have. And Emerson. Okay. Uh, Gladys. William. And Ada. Que no sé. Creo que apagó, apagó la luz. <laughs> All right. Very good. So, red team, William, Katia, Emerson. Blue team, Gladys, William, and Ada. Very good. Okay? Teacher. Yes. William. Yes, no, William, dos veces. No, red team, me, me equivoqué. Gladys. Uh, hold on. Después de Gladys, ¿quién está? Carlos. A mí no me más no te chico. Carlos, I'm sorry, I got confused. Ah. I got confused. Okay, very good. A red team is William, Katia, Emerson, blue team, Gladys, Carlos, and Ada. Okay, you're going to use here en las preguntas and you're going to use the quantifiers. Let's see, ¿quién va primero? Mm. Blue team, blue team. Gladys, Carlos, Ada. Read the questions and then any or some. We didn't buy blank flowers. Okay. Ya me di cuenta de algo. Antes que vaya allí. Wait, wait, wait. We're going to come back to this game. Before, before I go to this game, le voy a explicar algo. Before, before I go to this game, uh, I have to explain something to you. Before, okay, uh, English, we have count nouns versus non-count nouns, okay? Uh, for example, right? Uh, uh, count nouns, for example, Apples, ok. Eso sí lo puede contar. Puedo decir, I have two apples, three apples, four apples, ok. But hay algunas cosas que no puedo contar. For example, puedo contar la leche. No. A no sea que la ponga en, un, en una unidad y digo, tengo un galón de leche, uh -huh. pero no puedo contar la leche. Eh, rice, for example, arroz. Uh -huh. Tengo tres arroz. No. ¿eh? I have three rice. No. I have some rice. Okay. So. Okay. I'm going to use some for non-count nouns. Cosas que no puedo contar. Some. Okay. Here's another example. Uh, for example, I have here uh, cosas que puedo contar. Uh, tomatoes. Uh, eggs. Cosas que no puedo contar. Rice, coffee, sugar, flour. No lo puedo contar. Okay. So, I use, uh, for example, any or many. Con las cosas que sí puedo contar. I use some por las cosas que no puedo contar. Okay, right. Let's go back now to the game. Ahora sí. <laughs> Let's go back to the game. Some. 
Any teacher. Very good. Good job, Pablo. Okay. Next. Red team. This evening, I am going out with blank friends of mine. Some. A red team. William, Katya, Emerson. Emerson, what do you say? So. So. Good job. Ray Emerson. Good job. Red, blue team. Have you seen blank good films recently? Any, any. Have you seen any? Okay, blue team. I didn't have blank money, so I had to borrow some. Huh? Any. A red team. I didn't have any money. Good job. Blue team. Gladys, Carlos, and Ada. Can I have blank milk in my coffee? Any. Any? Any. Gladys, what do you say? What do you think? Any. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> eh, because coffee, no lo puedo contar. Some. Can I have some milk in my coffee? Yes. Okay. Blue team. I was too tired to work. I, I was too tired to blank work. No. I was too tired to do some uh, any work. I was too tired to do any work. It's okay. Vamos juntos. Vamos parejo. All right, let's go. You can cash these checks at blank bank. What do you think, Gladys? Twenty <laughs> seconds. You can cash these checks at. Hmm? It's like saying in cualquier banco. So you can cash these checks at some uh, any bank cualquier bank any bank remember remember some is for non count nouns any for count nouns puedo contar bancos si sí. dos bancos tres bancos okay so otra vez some it's for non-count nouns. Cosas que no puedo contar. Like milk, sugar, rice. Any is for things that I can count. Okay? All right. Next, red team. Red team. Can you give me blank? information about places of interest in the city? Some. Huh? Emerson, what? <laughs> Emerson, it's, it's Emerson too. Huh? I think some. Can you give me some information? Yes. Right. Okay. Blue team. Gladys Carlos Ada. With this special bank card, you can shop at Blank Mall in town. A song. 
Carlos, you think it's some? So. Gly says it's any. Okay. Any. Any. Yes. Three hundred, three hundred points. Equal. Uh, final question. If there are blank words you don't understand, please use a dictionary. Ooh, aquí está a, B, and C. This is a little more difficult. Any. Any? O sería la dos? La dos. What do you think? Yes. Intercambiable. Because... Uh, Very well, Emerson. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Good job. So, I think the winner is... We can finish the knowledge check in 5.9. So, lo voy a poner en grupo so that you can finish, okay? I'm going to let you work in groups. And we're going to do a 5.9 knowledge check. Um, okay, go and join the group. And then you're going to go to the platform, Inglés Corporativo platform, and do 5.9. Hello, Emerson. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, Ada was supposed to come to this group, but um, she's not there, I think. So, um, 5.9, knowledge check. Okay. Y, y este va con, um, it says, read the following sentences. Select the response with the quantifier closest in meaning. In China, 50% of women get married by the age of 22. So, tenemos de, de recordar la escala que teníamos del 100 al 0. ¿Ya? Yeah? De los quantifiers. Ah, de los quantifiers. So, aquí te está dando la información de 50% of women. So, viendo la escala, ¿dónde están las la palabra que sería más cerca de 50%. ¿Cuál quantifier sería más, más cerca del 50%? Tenés que regresar al, al video, ¿verdad? O lo que voy a hacer es, le voy a poner en WhatsApp eh, la foto del quantifier. Okay, so you can look at what's up if you want in the picture there. Okay, do you understand? Yo pienso que es la segunda, la de en medio. Uh -huh, but I, I think you're correct because if we say number one, in China, a lot of women get married. Uh, a lot es más de 50%, ¿verdad? Eso no encaja. In China, a few women get married by the age of 22, okay? In China, all women, all is 100%, so no, mm -hmm. that's not true. So yes, I think it's the second one too, okay? okay. Very good. So that, that's what you're going to do, basically, right? You have five questions and then uh, submit, okay? Okay. Do you guys understand what the exercise? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
5.9? ¿Mm? Ahorita estamos ya en eso, Pecha. Ok. ¿Cuál es la primera? ¿Cuál es la respuesta de la primera, William? Permítanme. ¿Mm? Eh, sería la... In China, a lot of women get married by the age of 22. Ok, eso tú crees que es la tercera opción. Eh, la información que te están dando dice, In China, 50% of women get married by the age of 22. 50%. Entonces, ¿cuál palabra refleja más o menos 50%? No puede ser all, porque all refleja 100%. Eh, eh, en, WhatsApp, en WhatsApp puse eh, la escala de quantifiers para que puedan usar de referencia. Ahorita la veo. What, what do you think it is? Gladys, what do you, what do you think it is? Ok. So hay tres opciones, ¿verdad? La primera dice, in China, a lot of women. Bastantes. Ese día, a lot of teacher. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Por qué crees que sería a lot of? ¿Ya viste la escala? Eso. Ajá, según la escala de la... Uh -huh. Quantific fire está en medio. Ah, Entonces, ok. Que, ahí te refiere al 50. Uh -huh. Cabal. Ese puede... Exacto. So, si tú ves la escala del, del, 100 al, eh, del 0 al 100, 50 en medio, a lot of. Ok. Ok, okay. lo tengo. Okay. In China, a lot of women get married by the age of... Women. Okay, good, good. Okay, excellent. So, then like that, así van a ir hasta llegar a las cinco. Excelente, teacher. Okay, teacher. good, good. Teacher. Okay, perfect. Teacher. Uh-huh. That... Bueno, al menos yo ya lo terminé y creo que William también. Ah, ¿ya lo terminaron? Sí. Sí. Ok. Ok. Tenemos una pregunta con, con el examen final. Uh -huh. No creo que no es el examen final. 5.11. El 5.11 del artículo. Let me see. Ah, it change, it's a reading exercise. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. The change family. Eh, le voy a ser honesto, no le he leído todavía, pero tiene. Si, eh, pues, si la lee con nosotros sería perfecto para para escuchar la entonación y las palabras. Eh, lo que voy a hacer es que se la voy a leer y la voy a mandar en WhatsApp, ¿ok? So go to go to the exercise right now. Go to 5.9, eh, 5.11. Go to the exercise. Ahorita vemos eso. Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, question 2 dice, ¿verdad? Question 2 en qué? Eh, de la 5.9, que le sigamos, dice. Ah, no, pero si ya la terminaron, está bien. Si la terminaste sí. y la nota eh, es. Sí, está bien. Es bien, ok, good. All right, I'm going to read it to you. Uh, the, the article in 5.11. Ready? Vayan para allá. I'm going to read it. The Changing Family. Read the article. Perdón. The Changing Family. Read the title of the article, then check the question you think the article will answer. Why do women work outside the home? What happens when both parents work? Uh, now... No, pero... Esto me confunde porque no sé dónde empezar. Voy a empezar en la donde dice A, American Families. Ok. Yo creo que ahí es. The Changing Family. Read the article. Read the title of the article. Then check the question you think will, will answer the, the article. Why do women work outside the home? What happens when, when both parents work? American families are changing. One important change is that most married women now work outside the home. What happens when both parents work? Read about the Morales family. Judy and Steve Morales have three children, Josh, 12, Ben, 9, and Emily, 6. 
Steve is a computer programmer. This year, Judy is working again as a hospital administrator. The family needs the money and Judy likes her job. Everything is going well, but there are also some problems. Now that Judy is working, Steve has to help her more with the housework. He doesn't enjoy it. Judy loves her work, but she feels too tired and busy. She also worries about the children. Judy has to work on Saturdays, so Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. Emily is having a great time in her after-school program. When Judy comes to pick her up, she doesn't want to leave. Unfortunately, Ben's school doesn't have an after-school program. Right now, he's spending most afternoons in front of the TV. Josh is enjoying his new freedom after school. He's playing his music louder and spending more time on the phone. He's also doing some housework. Okay? Very good. Let's go and answer the questions now. Uh, ¿Ya, ya la respondieron? Which children are benefiting from Ju Judy working? Um, eh, los dos que están contentos con los cambios is Emily and Josh. Right? Because Emily has the after school program and Josh is enjoying his freedom that he has. So, pongamos los nombres de ellos dos. Está mal, siempre. Ah, ¿Huh? sale mal. Emily y Josh. And Josh. ¿Ya aprobaron eso? Sí. Ah, entonces tiene que responder, pero en oración completa. Emily and Josh are benefiting uh, from. Lo que pasa es que Mister especifica que solo los nombres. Mm. Ahí en la, en, en la instrucción especifica only the name. Ah, okay. Entonces y no no les no les sirve no les agarra solo escribiendo Emily and Josh no. Ahorita. Y si ponen Emily coma Josh? Ya agarró, ticha. ¿Cómo la escribiste? Ahorita la le... Ya Porque yo probé Emily, Josh y no lo agarró. Va, así ve, ticha. No puedo ver tu pantalla. No la puede ver. No, no puedo ver tu pantalla. Y Yo puse Emily, Emily and Emily Josh. And Josh. Ajá. Ajá. ¿La puede ver? La sí. No, no yes. puedo ver tu pantalla, pero ya, ya, la, ya la arreglé yo aquí en la mía. Ajá. Emily, Emily and, and Josh. And Josh. Ajá. Ok. ¿Y la otra, teacher? Which child is not benefiting from Julie's work? La cuatro. Solo uno. Solo uno. La cuatro. Ah. Number four, which family members are doing more housework? Steve. El único, Steve. Mm -hmm. Try Steve only. Well, try Steve and Judy. Ah, no, no, no. It's there. There's one, Steve, and then one of the children are doing the, the housework. Ahí está. Hay un niño, uno de los niños. Okay? Sería Josh. Yo lo puse así. Pero serían los dos. Steve is the father. It says, Steve has to help her more with the housework. And then Josh, también habla de Josh. Okay. All right, very good. Okay, let's go back.
Okay, hello. Uh, welcome back, welcome back. Okay, uh, I want to show you uh, very quickly the activity, ¿verdad? ¿Algu ¿Alguien tuvo problemas con the exercise? No? No. Okay, very good. Um, the reading exercise, the, the, the audio, I put it on WhatsApp so that you can listen to me and you can uh, practice your pronunciation and, and, and follow me reading. Okay, so okay. exercise 5.11, que es, es the reading exercise, eh, tienen que poner solamente los nombres de las personas de que están okay. hablando. So, por ejemplo, si está hablando de eh, Carlos and William. Okay, so you have to put Carlos and William, punto. Okay, very good. That's going to be the, the exercise. Okay, and then with that, Eh, tienen hasta el domingo para terminar la, el final exam. Okay? okay. If you have a question durante el día, if you have a question, tell me, okay, about the final exam. If you have a problem with the platform, no me está aceptando lo que estoy ingresando, whatever, I don't know, okay? And you tell me, okay? Okay. Okay, very good. All right. Eh, any other questions? No. Okay. All right. I'll see you tomorrow then. Okay. Tomorrow will, will be yeah. our last class. And um and no nos han dicho acerca, no me han dicho a mí nada acerca de los grupos. Cuáles grupos eh, donde voy a estar yo, no sé. But uh, I hope to to be able to be with you, okay? Okay. Okay, very good. Have a good night. Okay. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.